What's going on everybody? We're here with another diecast review. And today's diecast review is going to be the Green Light Collectibles Hendrick Motorsports William Byron's first win from August the 29th, 2020. Number 24 tribute. Ah, oh, the car definitely looks good. I pre-ordered these bad boys back in February, I believe. It was off of HendrickMotorsports.com. I think you could have pre-ordered them off of there. Lionel and Green Light collectibles I, I don't know their website but i think those are the three and then circle b had them i believe and i think lionel sold out circle b has them and of course green light collectibles has them but i pre-ordered like i said i pre-ordered these back in february i actually pre-ordered i think it's five or six of them i can't remember how many but i pre-ordered them all because i cannot wait to actually see what these things look like they definitely look good counting they got a die cast metal chassis that looks good. I think the doors open and the hood. I mean, it's coming off the 1969 Chevrolet Camaro. But the packaging looks good. Looks really good. You got the uh, Hobby 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 exclusive. Green Light Collectibles. Hendrick Motorsports. And, of course, I read all that. Now, on the back, there's one thing that I wish they would have done on this. And that's put something about this race on the back. That would have made it look a lot better than Hendrick Motorsports Race Use Bumper Sweepstakes Scan for Your Chance to Win. To me, I think that's just generic. I think they could have put a little bit more design on the back. That's just my opinion. But other than that, I mean, car definitely looks good. Packaging's pretty good. I mean, that's my only flaw about the packaging. But it sure does look good. And it contains one diecast vehicle, which I just noticed that. But you can see how it's metal on the bottom. I'm kind of curious. Are they rubber tires or are they plastic tires? Definitely going to be finding that out. So let me actually crack this bad boy open. And we're going to take a closer look at it and see if I think it was $7.99. Let's see if $7.99 is worth it. Okay, we got that opened up. But still, the only thing that I would say with these <clears throat> is please make something packaging that we can just open and not cut up and just toss this kind of sucks that we can't put them back in the packaging just my opinion just wish there was a little bit more to it but actually did while i was trying to open it up i went ahead and tried to find the price of this one out i actually paid 7.95 it's off of hendrick motorsports.com which they still have them available in there lionel racing still has them available and circle b has them available so and circle b and lionel both sells it for 7.99 like i said hendrick sells it for 7.95 but you can, buy, you can still pre-order the rest of them. So I think I have another one coming. I can't remember. I think that's Chase Elliott one. So once I get that one, we're definitely going to be doing a review. Like I said, I believe they have a Jeff Gordon, Jimmy Johnson. I'm not sure about Alex Bowman. So I do know Chase and Williams is the only two that is available right now. The rest of them still in pre-order. But the packaging, like I said, it's pretty cool. All you, The easiest way to do this is just cut the sides, the top and the sides. It's easy to get out. Probably will put this back in the packaging. Not sure what I'm going to do with it, but once you slide it out, this is just a looks like a sticker because you can just peel this right off. Yeah, it's just a sticker going around it, which I did. I thought it was actually cardboard, but it's not. It's just a sticker. It says Hendrick Motorsports on both sides. Like I said, 1969 Chevy Camaro. Oh, cannot wait to do this. Car is beautiful, easy to put back in. I mean, like I said, just wish the packaging was a little bit easier to put like them back in there where they were. Just my opinion. But man, these tires are actually like a rubber, hard rubber. So they are. And they do have, th uh, they do have, th uh, I can't even say it, thread on them. So which is pretty cool. You can see how it's a metal die cast chassis body. That looks good. It says 1969 Camaro used under license. What does that say? Made in China too. But let's take a, oh, the hood does open. Trunk does not, doors do not, but the hood does. Which we're going to save that to the end. It looks like it's kind of challenging to open it up. Uh, can we get it? Yeah, we're going to save that to the end. So, you got the Goodyear here on the left front. You got the 24. Of course, you got the door handle. Inside looks pretty decent, too. Good detail for a 164. So, they did pretty good on that. You got Liberty, Exalta. And on the back, you got Vaveline, Liberty University with the 24. You got Liberty, Byron on the back window, Liberty up top, Liberty, Exalta, Vaveline, 24, Goodyear. You can actually see inside, um, I'm trying to see, yeah, they have do have gauges in there, which is pretty nice. I'm trying to get that to focus. It's 
it's kind of hard to focus yeah you can see a little bit of the dash there and then you got the front with the style of the 1969 Camaro which looks good good year Eagles on all four tires but they're not slicks unfortunately overall the car does have some weight to it which is pretty nice now let's actually see if we can get this hood to open because this hood seems like it's stuck down in there oh geez your fingernail i think that hood is freaking hard to open i don't want to break it ah oh, that's as far as we're going to be able to go with it uh let's see if we can get this light to go down um let's see if we can get this light come on I uh, don't really have the greatest lighting for it, so that sucks, because I want to actually see inside of that. Okay, I had to actually see what this inside of this body looks like, so I'm going to grab a flashlight here and see if we can shine a light in there and see. Okay, we have an orange engine. That looks pretty good. Details looks good. The hood does not open that high, but other than that, you can only see the orange. What is that? Like the engine? A block in it. Uh, I mean, it looks good. Nothing up top. So, other than that, I mean, that's pretty much all you can really see in there. Like I said, the hood doesn't really open that much. But I did notice when we shine the light in there. Turn this flashlight off. Don't want to kill the battery in that. Did notice in the front, which, man, that hood is so freaking hard to open, though. Did notice on the headlights, you got the 24, and you do have Hendrick Motorsports there. Definitely looks good. I like the car. Definitely worth it if you. If you're a William Byron fan or a Hendrick Motorsports fan, definitely pick them up. I wish they would do, actually do more of these because this is his first win paint scheme, which is nice. I do like that first win. Looks pretty good. Where did his first win come from? I think we've done the review. No, I have not done the review. I still have the diecast card to do the review, but I haven't done it yet. But we're going to. <clears throat> so definitely I do like that. I personally don't think they could have done anything different with this car. I mean, for what they could have used, I mean, you have Liberty, Exalta, Liberty University, Vaveline, 24. I mean, pretty much it's a, it's a basic paint scheme with not that many sponsors. I mean, it's pretty much how the current car is. So definitely worth the money. Like I said, if you're a Hendrick Better Sports fan or William Byron fan, definitely pick this up. Nice weight to it. Tires do feel good. Let's do the roll test. It does roll pretty good. The only thing different is that hood. Wish the hood would open up just a tad bit more. But overall, pretty nice looking car. Glad I bought it. Like I said, it's still available on different websites. You definitely can find it if you really want to pick it up. So that's going to do it for this diecast review. Do have some very new stuff coming in. I think it's like next week. I think it's almost every day next week I have something new coming in. So we're definitely going to be doing a lot of new diecast reviews so if you want to see more of them please like comment and subscribe and i will see you again with another diecast video hope everybody's enjoying their day